What is up everybody, Eric here from Soundcast Studios. Today we are taking a look at the Pento Tube Saturation Color Module. This color module is designed to give you the characteristics of tube saturation. It has two bias settings, rich and fat, which change the saturation characteristics of the module. The module also has two EQ bands, bass and treble, which can be turned on and off with the onboard jumpers. I left the EQ jumpers in the off position for this video since I didn't really know how to test it. Now let's get to the sound samples. First I'll be testing how both the fat and rich settings sound on every track of a session. Then I'll show you how the module sounds on individual instruments. So let's get to it. Personally for me the color module is very subtle. Even at high settings I didn't really hear what it was doing. I can hear that it was taming some of the transients which is inherent of what you know saturation does. But otherwise it wasn't making a night and day difference for me. Um, the fat setting was giving a little bit of more low end and the rich setting was taming a little bit more of the high end at least that's what I'm hearing. But overall very subtle. So now let's see how this sounds on individual instruments. I'm actually going to drive the color module to its max setting for each test. Otherwise, I feel like you won't be able to actually hear what it's doing since it's very subtle. Let's hear how it sounds on guitar. <laughs> I should point out that I am currently in the fat setting. All right, let's see how it sounds on bass. on snare. Then 
This is one of those instances where level matching becomes a little bit more complicated because audibly they sound the same level to me now. But visually, uh, since it's taming the transients, it is peaking at a lower level. And also the meter is showing that it is actually quieter. So you see right here, all the way to the top, it's only going halfway. Even though they're kind of the same level. So theoretically you could crank this one. So now the meters are closer, but if I disengage it, you're going to notice that it will get quieter. And then when I when I re-engage it, you're going to notice that it's going to get louder. So the meters are closer together, but audibly, uh, you can definitely tell that uh, with the color module, it is louder. So now let's hear it in the context of the mix. I'm going to bring it down a little. can definitely tell that it's actually making the snare sound a little fatter. I'm not sure if it's because of the actual fat setting or just that it's getting saturated. So now let's do vocals. I've always stood right beside you. We fall back to back so many times. But when it's me who needs you in my corner It ends up with me in a lonely fight You throw me to the walls It is making the vocal sound a little warmer Now let's hear how that sounds in the mix I've Now I'm going to switch to the rich setting and we'll again hear each individual track. So now guitar on the rich setting. On guitar, I can definitely hear the rich setting a lot more than the fat setting. Now, now let's see in the mix. So yeah, you can actually hear that a little more. Bass.
snare drum. giving the snare drum a little bit more bite. I kind of like that. Kick drum. Lastly, we have vocals. I've always stood right beside you. We fought back to back so many times. But when it's me who needs you in my corner, it ends up with me in a lonely fight. You throw me to the walls. Now let's hear it in the mix. So like I said, overall, I think this color module is a little too subtle for my taste. I like things to be a little bit more apparent, a little bit more aggressive. But if you want that subtle tube saturation, then this would be a good choice for you. So that is going to be the end of this video. In the comment section below, let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, and what you thought I could have done better. And I'll see you all in the next video.